Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is Days of Sand by Amy Dejong. It is uh, based on a true story, a graphic novel, about um, a photographer named John Clark who was sent by the Farm Security Administration to document the Dust Bowl. It takes place in 1937, United States. Um, so this is during the Great Depression. For those who don't know the Dust Bowl, this was a time when farming basically jacked up uh, the Midwest uh, farming states and uh, destroyed the topsoil, which caused not erosion, but like a massive amount of uh, the topsoil to get destroyed and underneath the, the sand that come out, which caused, caused dust storms uh, and just uh, ravaged the, the farmland, um, caused millions of people to be displaced, killed a lot of people, um, just untold uh, destruction. Now, eventually things were fixed and, and people were working towards it, but you know, there's fears that this will always happen again. And, um, you know, I, it, was, it was just a, a horrible, horrible situation. Uh, so this is actually a really interesting graphic novel. Um, you know, it, it follows, you know, kind of based on a true story. These, these are people who were actually hired to go do these things. They went and were told to go take uh, photographs. Um, they were kind of encouraged by the Farm Security Administration to like, make it look sexy, if that makes sense. Um, and this one particular uh, photographer not only has to, from New York City, not only has to learn and kind of experience uh, the situation and get to know the people and earn their trust, uh, but also winds up in kind of a moral dilemma. You know, it, is what he's doing right? Uh, is what he's doing uh, something that's actually going to help? Or is this just propaganda to, to do something else? Uh, will this actually help the people he's photographing? And this is kind of the moral quandary he is in throughout the graphic novel. Um, but beyond that interesting um, that interesting debate, what I actually really appreciate about it is that it taught me a lot about the Dust Bowl. Like, I remember learning about in school. Like, I, I know what happened. I knew when it happened. You know, I know the cause and kind of what happened to the people. But I don't think it ever really has clicked to me of, like, how much dust we're talking about. Uh, for a good chunk of my life, I grew up in, I lived in Buffalo. Um, so I, I actually really kind of compare it to snow. Um, you know, this isn't just like, you know, dusting that goes by and, you know, leaves a little bit of dust that's annoying. We're talking like feet, feet and feet and feet of dust. Um, you know, there's, there's a one scene where his like car basically kind of gets stuck in and, and the dust is up to like, you know, almost near the hood of the car. So, I mean, we're talking like, multiple feet, like three, four feet easy. Um, and, you know, that's just a perspective or just a, just a detail that never, I never learned about. So I, I really kind of appreciated more that what the actual Dust Bowl was about, like what, how much dust we're really talking about and the impact on individuals. Um, there's a lot of focus on just the, the physical impact of this, that, that people committed suicide because they were literally driven insane from all the dust, um, that people were inhaling the dust and of course, you know, dust in the lungs is not a good thing. Um, and we're dying from that. And unfortunately people weren't recognizing what was happening until it was far too late. You know, these are, these are all things that I didn't know. And I think in many ways, the graphic novel for me humanizes it. It really kind of nails down the details of, of things I was unaware of that I, I just didn't know and, and, you know, didn't have a clue about. Um, the back has tons of material about the real people who went and took these photographs, um, what their, what their time was really like, who they were, um, you know, what they did, stuff like that. Like, it's, it's really, really interesting. And as I said, this is, this is, you know, based on, um, on history. So, you know, it, it does a lot to, to build off of that and build off the truth. Um, the art is absolutely amazing. I, I love this art. I really, really love this art. I mean, this is, this is a style that I'm a huge fan of. It works so well for this graphic novel. Um, you know, it, it reminds me a lot of ways of March and, um, I'm totally blanking on his name, Nate. I'm totally blanking on his name. I feel bad. Uh, the, the artist on that, um, you know, it's just that's the styles. I think are really, really similar in a lot of ways. Uh, and I'm a huge fan of that art as well. So like, this not too shocking on this. Um, 
just fantastic work. I and mean, this is uh, this is book of the year material for me. I mean, the, the story is, is amazing. The presentation is fantastic. The back material is great. The art is amazing. Uh, it's just, this is, I think, one of my favorite things that I've read this year. And it's educational as well. Um, and the only, the other thing I want to bring out is like, on top of that, there's, there's some heartbreak in it. Like it's definitely a tearjerker, uh, towards the end. Um, I don't, I don't want to go too much detail in it, but it's good. It's really, really, really good. Uh, out now you can go get this in comic shops and bookstores. I highly recommend this. Uh, we got a link beneath this video, put in your zip code, tell the comic shops near you. No shot, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own copy. There'll be affiliate links. So we do get a small percentage by doing that. You'll support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank Self Made Hero for hooking us up with a review copy. And of course, thank uh, you all for watching. If you are into graphic novels, even to comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.